So how many of you have phones? Oh wait, don't answer that. I'm sure you all do. So how many of you have gazed through Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and seen these magnificent photos, these vibrant photos filled with color and texture, um, such as pictures of animals or just beautiful scenery, and you've always thought to yourself, maybe I can capture something as beautiful as this. Well, with my help and four simple steps, I will be able to help you capture a beautiful photo that also looks very professional and just a great photo for you to share with friends and family. So first step is good lighting. Whether it is the sunlight or some manipulated light source in your own home, such as a lamp or just some um, uh, extra lights that you can turn around to help enhance your photo, I think that is very key for, um, to produce a very uh, nice photo. So I know the sun isn't always out, so uh, in my preference, I think it's best to take a photo in the morning or the afternoon when the sun is out. But if it's nighttime and you'd still like to capture some photos, um, you can manipulate your own light source by using uh, lamps or just um, turning on lights in your own home and just making sure there's a lot of light to make your photo more vibrant and full of texture and luminosity. So step number two is having a subject. So I know that um, it is very important to have a subject in order to um, have a focus. So you won't be uh, just running around looking for something to take a photo of. So it is very important that you have something already set for you to take a picture of, whether it is a place, um, a person, an animal, or just an object. It is great to have something already set for you so you know what you're going to take a picture of and uh, you can add that um, into your collection of photos and memories. So now step number three is um, good angles. So it is important if, um, to find out if you want to take a photo with landscape or portrait mode, and I think that really attributes to the success of your photo, and it helps distinguish you from other people. I know many people have different preferences, whether it's um, using different angles to take their photos, such as up top, or maybe at a diagonal angle to the right or to the left, or maybe um, having their subject appear smaller than it already is. Just whatever a person's preference is, that's ultimately how um, their pictures are going to turn out. And using these different angles and, um, and different settings, um, that can really attribute, again, to help the success of your photo and help you capture a very nice and very professional photo. Now, our fourth step is to use editing applications. So I know that a lot of people probably think that editing applications really change you, um, such as using Photoshop and um, filters, but in my opinion, I think that these apps really help enhance your photos. Whether um, you're using contrast to um, up your contrast by making your photo brighter or using exposure, lowering your exposure to make your picture a bit darker, I think these really help make your pictures stand out and make um, make your pictures um, very vibrant and colorful, just whatever, um, I, again, what someone's preference is, whether they prefer a darker photo or a lighter photo, it's just using these um, editing applications will really help your photo stand out and help you stand out as a person because when people see your photographs, they are going to say, wow, look at what this person has captured or this person. And so everyone has their own unique style. So using these apps will really help um, make you stand out and I think it will really add texture and color to your photo and I think they're just great tools for you to be able to use. So now I'm going to um, have demonstrate uh, a quick demonstration about um, how to capture a perfect photo whether it's using a professional camera such as this Rebel T5 or just an iPhone camera. And I know that um, a professional camera is not accessible to many people, so using a phone camera is just as fine. And if you really like photography and would like to invest in a camera, I also think that's a very good idea. So step one is to locate a good light source. So over here I have my lamp, so I'm going to use this manipulated light source in order to capture my photo. So step two, I already have my subject in place, these beautiful uh, roses that I'm going to capture. Now step three is a, an angle. So I decided to take my photo in portrait mode and my camera is already set in portrait mode. 
so I and the flash is already on so I decided to take this photo, photo at a bit of a right angle and I'm going to zoom into the flowers so let's see how this goes okay so here it is I captured my photo as you can see very nice very up close and personal just my preference something that I like so now I'm going to show you uh, how to take this photo using a normal iPhone camera that I am sure many of you already have or have used before. So I'm going to use the editing app um, Visco in order to capture this photo because it does come with filters and different ways that you can alter your photos. So I am going to take this picture up top at a bit of a landscape angle. So um, my flash is already on. So here we go. Let's capture this photo. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Here we go. Okay. As you can see, this is the photo that I produced. So now I'd like to up the contrast a bit just to make this photo stand out a little bit. I'm going to go over here, hide the contrast. See, it makes the photo darker and the roses stand out. And now I'm going to lower the exposure. And this really makes the roses stand out. So as you can see, this is the edited photo. And this is the original photo. You could really tell the difference. And just as my preference, I really like um, a darker image. So with these uh, four simple steps, which are using good lighting, um, having a subject, using different angles and using photo editing apps, I really think you can take your photos to the next level and capture unique photos that you can share with friends and family and create many memories. Thank you.